Hi all, welcome back to the channel. So today in this video, we are going to learn how we can verify CSS property value with Playwright. So basically, uh, we are trying to validate these three scenario. That is how we can verify color of an element. Then how we can verify if an element text is correctly aligned. That means let's say you have a um, any particular text that is let's say left aligned okay but the requirement is like it should be left uh, center aligned then uh, you need to verify that through your code the next is how we can verify font style and font size of an element so you see like there is there, there is a i mean uh, fonts mostly we do not verify these things because there is no such requirement but uh, with the approach that i am going to show you with that we can verify that so let's let's see it uh, through code so let me create one file and let me copy this part and let me rename the test name as test CSS property. And uh, let me take this website. Okay, next, uh, what, are you, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to work on this element only, this login button. So let me inspect it. So um, I can take uh, this login and let me create a locator for this. So login button. Page dot get by text. Okay. So we have to use this expect keyword so we already have seen in assertions videos right so this is another assertions that we are uh, doing so expect this login button now if you hit dot you will see one options called to have css so we need to use this particular method to have css now it, it, it is expecting two parameters okay so you need to give two parameters the first parameter is the property name that you are trying to uh, fetch so let's say I want to uh, get the color of that element so color should be this one okay and let's give you do not know let's say you are giving red okay color is red expecting now let's run it Okay, test to verify. Okay, let me run it and let me give a slow motion as well. 5,500 milliseconds. Okay, so something is wrong. So you can see, actually, we are expecting red here but it's getting another unexpected value that is rgb to 55 to 58 to so this is actually i think uh, if you see in google probably this is the uh, red only so we can check it so rgb color so you can see it's showing us red right so this is the color of red and uh, this is how actually um, this session will work so what you have to do you have to just replace uh, this red with this value now if i run it it passed right now if you are thinking like how do i know this property value from where you are getting it right so for that you can take help from this website css basic properties so you can see there are Many properties they have mentioned like border property, uh, list properties, text properties, and then uh, font properties. So we'll be uh, taking this, uh, we'll be taking this property name from here only. So we have I have taken the color, 
now let's say i want to uh, verify whether the text is aligned correctly or not not so for that i can take this one and uh, i can go here and let me add another session expect login button to have css and give the property value and the next parameter is uh, is the value so text align let's say you can see uh, from the uh, from this website you can see this is center align right so i can give the word center and let me run it so if this this is not correct then it will throw the error and it will show us the value as well so you can see it passed that means this thing is correct so this is center aligned right next uh, what we can verify so we can verify let's say font font style expect login button dot to have css and uh, here it's font size and no not font size but uh, font style font style now uh, i do not um, let's say i'm assuming it's italic okay and let me check whether it it is working or not Although I think it is not italic, mm -hmm. but I'm just giving it so that it fails. Yeah, it is failing. Not sure what happened exactly, but it actually fails. So let me see what is the, what is the problem here. Okay, let me run it one second. okay so you can see it failed and um, the unexpected value is normal so uh, that is unexpected that means italic is not expected and uh, it actually we are giving like ex italic is expected so you can see here uh, actual value is normal but uh, we have we are expecting italic so let me change it to the normal and let's run once again okay so it passed and uh, so this uh, font style is also working now next one i can try uh, with the font size as well so to have css font uh, size and font size is let's say i'm assuming it is 25 or 24 
so let me run it Okay, so it failed and we can see um, waiting for get by text okay so here expecting to have six font size 24 and here it's failing so what it is saying Okay, let me run it once again. Some problem. Actually, it is failing here only, so not sure. Did I mention the correct incorrect thing here? So, font size, right? Um, I think we hit to oh, I, I believe I what is the problem? I think it's size font size x is small, x small, small, something like that. So, maybe we need to try that as well. Let's see, font size and Take six small or medium. I think I can take medium one and I can put it here like this. Okay, that's it. Okay, it's again filling. Let's see this time what is happening, what is what it is giving. Okay, so this time uh, it is giving uh, this unexpected value 18 px. So we need to use this word 18 px. Okay, so not medium. So this is actual value. So you can see if you go above, you can see actual values is 18 px, but assertions we are giving medium. So I think this time it should pass. I don't know something happened with the console. I don't know what happened. Strange. Okay, 
Let me write. So this time it passed, you can see the dot, but I don't know what for what reason it is actually taking so much time to come to the update. Yeah, I think it would pass. Uh, yeah, you can see it passed, but for some reason it's taking weird some amount of extra time so that I need to check what happened exactly. And I hope you got the idea how we can validate this CSS properties, color text align font style and font size uh, let me know if you face any issue to do that and so thank you thank you for watching have a nice day have a nice year ahead